<sighs> All right. Hello, everybody. Well, I want to say the, thank you for coming on here. Um, for those of you who are watching, this is not an edited video. This is a breaking news, so it is live. We're just bringing you the information as it's unfolded just a couple of hours ago. And, you know, the biggest thing we want to say is, you know, thank you to everybody for being a part of this, for putting us out here on the road in a position to help the families like we have. You know, it's because of all of you that now we have eight families in the last 40 days that have been brought home because of you guys. You know, and that's something that's really powerful. You know, for Doug and I personally on this trip, four people have been brought home. Jacob. You know, is on Jacob Grubbs from Chaos Divers. He's on here. He's brought another one home. We had another detective that with the information that we got blown off the water one day, but she took that information a few days later, went back and went to that next location that we would have been going to and ended up solving that one as well. So, again, you know, th this thing is big. You know, this movement is big. You know, as we have, you know, exploring with Nug, Jeremy that's on the road, we have, um, you know, Britain from Depths of History, we have Adam Brown Adventures, we have you know, Jacob from Chaos Divers, and all those, you know, around, you know, the world, across the U.S. and in other countries that are mimicking the, you know, saying, yes, we can do this as well. We can go out and help these families. And so with that, you know, the thank you and the appreciation is really all on you guys for allowing us to be out here and putting us in this situation. So we want to talk to you. In fact, I, I don't want to do all the talking. Some some people say Jared talks too much. So let's kind of jump into today. In fact, Jacob, why don't you take this? You take this and bring everybody up to speed as to Thomas Thornton, 72-year-old veteran, and run with it from there and the family that we met and go. So when we, when we got, when we went to the location at the, um, with the, what, Huxley Bay Marina. We met up with the family. The start of the day, Jared had already got the boat out, the AWP boat, sonared. And, you know, Doug and I spoke up with the family when they when they got there. Um, you know, they were welcoming with uh, you know open arms and they were really, really nice folks. Um, you know, they're I spoke with the nephew and you know he's they just want to know where he was at and finally we were able to give those answers to him um jared had gotten out there and the water levels were down um which exposed a piece of the grill which has louvers to where when you <clears throat> when you actually start your vehicle the louvers open up and you can get airflow through that was sitting right next to the boat ramp. I kind of looked down and I said, Doug, I don't know what this is, but maybe this is something that we could check out. And he looked at it and said, he goes, Jacob, this is a Ford. This is this is a part to a Ford. So we yelled to Jared. And um, after that, Jared said, I think I have something on the live scope. When, when he was able to locate it, the sun was beating down. So like, the screen was really low, so he took another pass. And when he took that pass, he's like, I think we have a vehicle. Um, and, we, and we think, he said, you know, he said, I see a window. And then uh, he said, I think it's an SUV. And after that, we spoke with the family and Doug and I, we suited up immediately. And, and he wasn't in the water for 10 minutes and was able to find him. Um, <clears throat> when Doug and I suited up, uh, we went down and 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 verified that it was his. Um, he's he's been brought home, and thanks to to Jared and the AWP team and all you guys for helping us even get out there. Um, it was an amazing thing to bring, and it was humbling to bring them home. Um, everybody that was involved in that, including law enforcement and all that, it was it was amazing. So we were able to. Uh, we were able to get the vehicle out and bring them home. Yeah. You know, and with hearing about these, and you know, with people putting us on these, you know, there were a few different leads that came into it. You know, my understanding is, you know, Brock the Rock, you know, thank you for sending or coordinating with Shana. So I, I'm, I'm kind of unclear as to who told who first or how this whole thing came about. But then, you know, Shane from Project Clean Waters, you know, reached out to me and said, hey, while you're on the trip, I know you're, you've already planned your trip. 
but if you can fit this one in. And then I also know that the family ended up reaching out to us. You know, they heard that we were in Fort Worth. And uh, but, you know, th with the families, here's the thing with the families. I, I want all families to know, even if, you know, we may already be home or you hear that we're already taking on other cases. Always, always, always reach out to us, you know, support at adventuresofpurpose.com and let us know about these cases, especially when something like this, you know, we had a cell phone ping. In fact, you know, Doug, I'll, I'll kind of let you go into the clues that we had on this one and, and Thomas and who he was as a person and just an, an incredible man. Yeah. So I'll, yeah. I'll let you take it from there. So, so, so Thomas was a, a 72 year old Vietnam vet, served our country with pride, um, you know, survived by a, a huge family. And, you know, we had what we had going into this was, you know, he, he had a last known purchase on his debit card. And then that was in one city as well as uh, his cell phone died in the center Huxley area of Texas. So coming into that, you know, for us, we usually don't have that much. So, you know, we use that as a starting point for our morning. Uh, you know, we were knew we were going to start at the Huxley Marina and we were prepared to search the entire region all day long, as long as it took us. And, you know, we were gonna do what we had to do. Fortunately, you know, we, we started at Huxley, where in the area where the last cell phone ping was, um, you know, as, as Jacob described to you guys, we found the uh, piece of a Ford right there laying next to the boat ramp on shore. You know, at this point, Jared was in the boat and not 12 minutes on the water, you know, we, we identified what was a vehicle. You know, we put a magnet on it, dove on it, and, you know, Jacob and I dove down to confirm. And, you know, as, as soon as I got down to the vehicle, I knew it was the vehicle that we were looking for. I, uh, I, I went back around to the rear of the vehicle, checked the license plate. I identified the license plate uh, that we knew we were looking for, and it indeed was Thomas's vehicle. Um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's great answers for his family to be able to have to be necessary to move forward you know it's never closure but these are answers that a family would never have and with all these cases i always try to put myself in these shoes and, and you know i couldn't imagine anything happened to my wife or my daughters or my sister or anyone that it is in my life and not having an answer as to where they're at or what happens to them and being able to provide that for this family you know they they were truly grateful and, and feeling their love and just all of their pain fade away as they now have answers and can begin to heal is, is I can't even put it into words really um, when his when, when, when his nephew came over and hugged both of us I lost it I mean that was like you know that that's what means everything to us is a family yeah, you know, and like a Britain, Depths of History was out there today, you know, and exploring with Nug and Adam. And Britain, you know, this hit Britain in the same way that, you know, the first half a dozen plus cases, you know, hit you. Is is that, you know, the, the, the tears and the emotions are real and they're raw. You know, at no point, whenever you've seen me break down on camera, at no point has any of those ever been faked in any way, shape, or form. You know, and... And when, when some people actually, you know, say in the comments, you know, it, it actually hurts when people are like, oh, you know, well, those are fake tears or you, you try too hard or you're putting on a show. No, this is real life that we're out here. And, you, and you're going to see with Britain, you know, some people they call Britain out when he puts out his video and be like, well, those are fake tears, Britain. You're just trying to get views. 100%. No, I'm, I'm going to tell you that Britain's emotions were so raw that as we do this longer, we, we learn how to compartmentalize differently as we continue to do these cases. And so our emotions this season are not quite the same. That's becoming more routine for us. That's we know what it is we're getting into. We know what we're going to be seeing. We know what the feelings of the families are going to be. You know, we know what the working with law enforcement and, you know, everything just continues to grow. And, and I felt so bad for Britain. And, but this is a big growing experience for all of us and, and Britain today. And, and I'm going to talk more about him. Um, because it was like Britain, you know, at first, you know, we told him, you know, don't look, but he's like, I, I really want to see what is it you guys work with. And now he says, one of the things he said is, I understand that when he uses, he's used in the past, you know, like who, human remains as a sketchy clickbait title. He says, I now understand where I went wrong, that this is real out here, that you really are dealing with, you know, families and human remains and, and families' emotions. 
But in addition to that is just the, you know, and, and maybe later on we'll talk about this. I don't know if it's going to be in the video, you know, but the, the last moments of somebody's, you know, passing when they're trapped inside of a vehicle, um, it, it, it's real, you know, and especially when Britain understood, you know, the last moments of life for Thomas, it, it really hit him and it really hit him hard on that one. Um, so we're, we're going to talk more with Britain, you know, as well as, you know, all the young men that, that have been out here and everybody knew that is with this, that, you know, in Britain, we said, is this something that you feel like you can continue with when you go diving? Yes. When we do environmental car recoveries, it's all fun and games, but there's also that reality that we might solve one by accident, like we did with Timothy Robinson. But if you go out on these and you take these cases on, you have to be prepared for these emotions as you learn to work through them as well. So, you know, we, we definitely do keep all that in mind. And we, as a group, you know, we continue to talk to the, you know, especially the, the younger men that are coming into this. And, and uh, so again, you know, just again, thank you for everybody for putting us in this position. It is because of the online presence, you know, it, it is the, because of the YouTube monetization, it's because of the Facebook, it's because of the merchandise sales that, you know, some people are like, well, what's your spreadsheet? You know, what are your expenses? At the end of the day, we never have enough. Bottom line, you know, we have production expenses. We have gear breakdown expenses. We have new equipment that we always want that we can use. You know, the next thing on the list is, you know, a four wheel drive, you know, RV. I mean, you know, it's, it's 100 to 120 grand at least. Do we have it today? No. Do we have extra funds today? No. You know, but every little bit helps. So, you know, like the merchandise sales, you know, jump over to adventurespurpose.com if, if you, you know, have it in your heart for any donations to help us out. Every little bit helps, and we thank everybody for being here. We will have the full edited video out. You know, we do have five different, um, you know, YouTubers that were, that were out today. And, and Jacob, I, I apologize. I forgot to put your link in the description. I'll get it up there. I had every, I have Nugs and Brittons and Adam Brown. Give me 10 minutes after this is over and, and I'll have it up. But, you know, I ask everybody, you know, if you don't like me for some reason, that's great. I have no problem with it. I'm going to continue to be out here helping these families. But I ask that you go support these others. You know, if you can support all of us, please do so. Start off by simply subscribing because subscribing is free. If you can Absolutely. donate, go to each one of their channels and donate. If you can become a member where you get videos early, do that as well. So, you know, and, and you'll see others and, you know, even people even those that have been with us in the past some of them have youtube channels and some of them may have taken breaks and some of them may be coming back with new teams you know we ask that you go support them as well as they're doing good out there in the world so you know this is an entire you know family awp movement started it but you know so many are breaking off and coming in with us at times and doing their own thing on their own support them all none of this would have been possible without the very first, you know, the, the, the very first family believing in us, seeing what our abilities are and reaching out to us. We continue to ask, you know, spread the message of what it is that we're capable of doing so that way other families can find us because there's so many families out there that need our help. And uh, with that, we thank you very much. Jacob or Doug, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna stop yeah. talking. You guys can send huge, us up in here. Huge like shout out to the Huxley County Share, not Huxley, uh, Shelby, Shelby County Sheriff. Yep. Um, you know, we were in Huxley, Texas, but it's Shelby County. The Shelby County Sheriff were amazing. You know, the from you know Deputy Anders to Sergeant, you know Jake Grubb, <laughs> and to the head sheriff of the entire county came down and congratulated everybody involved. They were very proud of how everything went. Uh, you know, they 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 let us conduct the entire extraction from the river. Uh, this this is going to be a, a you know an unfortunate great video to watch you know you know and and being a part of so many of these um, cases where we've solved with you I've really struggled with you know being excited and this and that and you know I feel horrible there's so many emotions but at the end of the day this is an amazing thing there are families that are getting answers that never would have them and you know the, the, the sheriff's department flat out said, you know, they would have never been able to do this. They're working in a town that has 385 people. Their resources are limited. You know, they're, they they count on the city of Dallas about, I don't know, two, three hours away. 
Um, so they, they had no resources to do what we came in and did. And their red tape and lack of resources is why you know, they couldn't get answers on their end because they're limited. And they were very thankful to everybody that came down. Shout out to the head sheriff there in Shelby County, Kevin. He, he was amazing. He came out, he met with his family, he met with us. And it's, it's nice to have good law enforcement interaction um, that want to help and, and actually solicit our help once we're there. Every step of the way, they, they let us run the entire operation from start to finish, and they, they trusted us with open arms. Yeah, and, you know, and I, and I just want to address some of these comments, you know, because, again, we have, we have some people that want to troll us, and I'm just going to read some of these comments and just address some of them, whether you're trolling me uh, or not. One, one, one second. This was not a suicide. Yeah. at all this was not a suicide we're not going to go into the situations that we know right now all of that will be in the episode but this was 100 percent not a suicide yeah. so you know like janelle carter you want to say pay your employees uh, our, the employees are paid the volunteers that come out here with a purpose and you know an agreement ahead of time they're not paid there's a difference in that and i have always met every single one of my obligations along the way for whatever was agreed upon so there's a difference in the uh, production team and there's a difference in the divers who have their own youtube channels that come out here so uh, i want you to make sure that you understand before you try to criticize me on that one um also i do take constructive constructive criticism such as you know, melissa haskett you know she says also some advice you know keep the camera out of the family space when you find the loved one, you know, have some respect, you know, needed to gain views because of that. I've watched a couple and I couldn't anymore. And 100%, there are things that we have done in the past that we no longer do now because we've all grown. And because we're, AWP has been leading this movement, we're learning as we go and we're taking this new information and knowledge of what works, what doesn't work. Um, when is it the appropriate time to actually leave town that we don't stay in town overnight to try to get you know, media clout? And we're sharing this information, you know, with these other teams that are coming in, you know, pull the cameras back at this moment in time. But here's where it's okay. But you, what we need to have you understand as well is when we are with these families, before we even start anything, we have open discussions with them. It's like, you know, as you un can understand, we appreciate you allowing us to document something so sensitive in your life right now with the purpose of being able to spread the message for other people to see this as well. And we appreciate that. Um, but with that also, we tell them, you know, we, we share the information straight up. If there's anything that, you know, we are doing at any moment in time or something is said that, you know, you don't want on camera as well, make sure you let us know so that way we can edit that out or we need to turn the camera off at a certain you know, moment in time that's really sensitive for them. So do know that also, you know, families have come on live streams afterwards. It's not because we asked them to. They heard that we were having a live stream and they asked to come on that live stream with us. So, you know, I, I ask that for many of you don't be so judgmental in what it is we're doing. Um, a, lo a lot of you are amazing keyboard warriors and, and I'll, get, I'll give you an A plus and gold stars for how amazing you are at that. But it's really a crappy thing. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, this is our YouTube channel. This is what we do. We have no problem deleting the negativity out there because we are out here having, we are doing so many positive things. And if you don't like what it is that we're doing, helping these families, not charging them anything because of those that are helping out, those that do donate, those that do merchandise sales, we don't force anybody to do this. You know, if you want to come out and volunteer, do so on your own dime. And, you know, if you want me to help you grow your YouTube, you know, then, you know, we put that information down below. You know, so if you have seen anybody now in the future or in the past that wants to complain about it, remember that's always on them, but also always know that anybody that my employees and employees much different. So please understand that. That's it for now. I'm done with the trolls because this was something so beautiful that we did for another family today. Because of those of you who are true supporters that are helping us, and I appreciate that. And again, sometimes the trolls just get to me, and Doug tries to keep me offline. My wife tries to keep me offline. That's yeah, all I have to say. Yeah, and, yeah. Thank, and, and, and and you thank you to everybody. And, and I'm just going to finish this. The trolls, if you want to troll me, I guarantee you 100%. Our moderators will delete the comment. They okay. will delete you because we are about positivity and moving forward to help other people. So troll away. Just know that nobody else is ever going to see it. It'll be a ghost comment in the future. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but I'm not working over, right over, now. Over, over, it's such a small, minute 
amount of people that are even involved in that. It, it doesn't even matter. The, the the fact of the matter is there are millions of you that watch what it is Jared does time and time again. It is all of you who are watching this that makes this possible. There are 13 people. The, the, the stronger people, the stronger that you are, the stronger we are, because without you guys, none of this is even possible. It is like I, I remember when I first met Jared and he just started this. And he couldn't afford an air for one thing. And now he's come from that to traveling across the nation multiple times a year, helping so many families. We, we left Oregon together a little bit over a month ago, and there are eight families that have answers. And that's just that's mind blowing. That's I, true, true hero stuff. Can I say something about Jared? Is it okay, Jared? Good so you say it all. I mean, I'm transparent, and I, it is what it is. So, so we, we got it out in the open here. So, with what I do, I can't afford this without you guys. I quit coal mining to pursue this to help families out. Throughout the times, there's been good times. There's been bad times in a financial situation on trying to do this. Jared stepped up and helped me with you know with different things that I, I had trouble with and he and he helped me with it. Jared is a great guy. Um, I will stand behind him one hundred percent and I'll go to war with him. Um, he is he has helped me out and to bring Charles home, it was because of Jared. It was because of the AWP movement. Everything that that stood for, we came back and we were able to solve that case. Today I seen the beautiful work that we all do in those families' eyes. If it wasn't for Lindsay, you know, there you guys wouldn't have the uh, the context that you do because uh, I'm not very good at typing. Um, my grammar sucks. And she's been helping me out. She's been letting me use her truck. Financial wise, I can't do this, but I want to do this and I want to pursue this. And Jared has helped me out to do this. So I want to say personally, say thank you, Jared. That's all I have to say. Thank you, thank you very much, Jacob, and thank you everybody for uh, for your support. Um, some people say that I'm not a likable character. Listen, at the end of the day, should I say it? I'm not. Say that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't. I don't care if you like me or not. I'm not here to gain your love and, and your likability of please come to my home and have dinner. I'm out here to help these families, and I'm out here to love my family, and I'm out here to have an incredible relationship with you know my friends and those that do come out here for the movement so like me hate me i don't care it's not going to make a difference in my world but at the end of it all of you that do support us and everything we're doing supporting us even if you hate me i'm okay with that as well so and and on on, on the flip side of that you know that's just a, a a side effect of being successful and doing something right because if you if, if you're not doing something right you don't have haters People are going to hate no matter what. People are going to be negative no matter what. By the bottom line, is, I know Jared and me and whoever else is involved with this is going to continue to stay positive. We're going to continue to try to help families and do this time in and time again. And, you know, truth prevails. You know, the, the light is going to shine through no matter what. You, you, you do positive things, positive things is going to happen to you. And that's what's happening right here. We're, we're able to do positive things and help families to get answers. And you know, so far on this trip, there has been so so much that you guys don't even know yet. Like, there's going to be a lot of episodes that are going to come out, and you know, episodes that we don't do lives on. And you guys are going to find out. Like, this has probably been the, the best trip ever yeah. for, for Adventures with Purpose. And and Carson, Carson and Josh, all of the work that they've been doing to help and support all of this with the cameras, the producing, the directing, has been phenomenal. It's it, it's a group. It, it, it's not an I. It's not a we. It, it's huge. It's, it's millions of people that are making it possible. True. Josh and Carson, they run. They jump on the boats. They get the. They bring this content to you yeah. guys. Yeah, the, the poor guys. Are, the poor guys. You know, they're 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 in and out of the water. You know, they you know they, they got wet feet. They're you know they're falling down. They they they're they're hustling hard, and it it shows. And if you guys are watching the new episodes that are coming out, a few of them are still on for members. But if, if you've seen those, all of that hard work, that's them. It, it, it shines through in the editing. And, you know, they're, 
they're awesome. I'm, I've gotten to know them, you know, and Mika too. Mika, the dog is traveling with us, our, 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 our adventure dog here. Mika, come here, come here. And exploring with Nug. There's, come here. there's Jeremy. Come here, come here, yeah. come here. Hi, yeah. hi. <laughs> and Huxley yeah. Bay Marina yeah. for for the yeah. restaurant you know, and helping us out on, on food and stuff. That was awesome in the waters yeah. that they provided today. Yeah. Thank, thank you to everybody who, who makes it possible. All the members and, and a lot of people, they can't afford to become a member. They can't afford to buy merch. Simply clicking the subscribe button to support Adventures with Purpose is supporting. Watching a video, waiting for it to come out. That's, those are all different forms of supporting. Stop what you're doing. Hit the like button. How many people? We have three, 3,800 people on here right now. And how many likes do we have at the moment? We have 800 interactions. Hit the like button, please. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. But but we're not going to ramble on. We, we have so many more cases. Because, because of you and your support, Josh is actually flying home to, to go spend time with his family on the 29th to be with his family and Chloe for her very first Halloween. But we have chosen because of your support and additional cases, we're going to pick up more. Again, it's because of the merch sales. It's because of the donations. You know, we have, um, you know, like Axel just donated. Thank you very much. You know, we appreciate that, Thomas. We have new members such as Tracy. You know, we have a new member, Patriot Defense, Brian Parker. It's all of you who have put us out here that we're going to extend, miss our own Halloweens. Our wives understand. And we're going to take on a few extra cases, and and it's and that's why this case got picked up today. This was not part of Thomas Thornton was not on our original list, but again, it's because of you guys that we bumped our original Shreveport today. We're going to come back to Shreveport on the 30th, add that as well as two or three other cases. So again, all of you are a part of this who make this possible, because again, without you, this is this is expensive being out here, you know, from the production to every, you know everything, the breakdowns to the gas that, you know, everything. So again, thank you very much. We're done rambling. We're going to end it right now. We'll see you down Goodbye, the road. Everybody. We're heading Thanks, over guys. to yeah. Mississippi next. So we have a three, four hour drive tonight. So thank you again very much. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye guys.